Hello, welcome to everyone. In this video, this is our lecture number five of electronics theoretical part and the part four of the semiconductor diode and applications. Uh, in this uh, uh, YouTube channel, we actually discuss the phase related theoretical part and problem solution. Uh, if you want to watch these things, you can go through the description box. The different link of different playlist are given there. So, uh, if you uh, once to the lecture uh, one to four of this series you can go through the description log link are given there so let's start today discussion actually we want to discuss today the principle of led light emitting diode photodiode solar cell and baraptor diode all these four things uh, principle and circuit symbol we want to discuss here okay so you can see this is the Syllabus for University of Calcutta, 4th semester, Physics Honors. This part, that is the circuit and network, we will uh, actually discuss in lecture 1. And this lecture 2, 3, 4, we cover up this portion A and B. And in this lecture, we want to discuss this portion, principle and structure of uh, LED, photodiode, solar cell and baraptor diode. This wants to discuss in this lecture. Okay. So, let's start. And this will be covered up in the upcoming session that is the bjt bipolar transaction fet regulated power supply amplifier feedback amplifier or of m multi vibrator oscillator okay so know about the led led means light emitting diodes okay so <coughs> By energy band diagram, we can explain these things very easily. This is the energy band diagram of a PN junction diode. Energy band diagram of a PN junction diode. If you attend this previous lecture, you know very well. This is the P site and this is the N site. Okay. Now, if you connect a forward BIOS, if you connect a forward bias in the circuit pn junction and you know this is depletion region so you connect in forward bias so led operate in forward bias okay so when you apply the forward bias you know in, in inside there is large number of electron majority carrier and some hole minority carrier and here this some electron and here large number of hole that is the majority carrier in p side clear this is the situation now if we apply the forward bios what happened the electrons are energized and this electron comes to this p side okay so this is the energized actually this barrier height actually reduced this becomes like here and after that this big uh, jumped out here okay when it sums out there are the large number of electron here and this large number of hole here so this electron this electron newly electron this electron comes to this hole for recombination so this electron comes to this uh, for recombination and during this recombination it emits some energy and this energy in the form of light then this is called the led in the normal diode this energy comes in form of heat but here this this energy comes in the form of light that's why this is called led so we just uh, briefly we can write them in, in in short form so in forward bios forward bios electrons of n site uh, conduction band to p site conduction band and large number of electron in conduction band recombined recombine with hole in valence band of p site okay so during this recombination during this recomb 
combination you can see this electron jump from higher energy state to lower energy state electron jump from higher energy level to lower energy level lower energy level okay so during this uh, transition emits energy emits energy and this energy in form of in form of light that's why this is called LED in normal diode normal diode this energy this energy in form of in form of heat okay so this is the basic difference of normal diode and LED so in the circuit symbol you can write uh, that is here we apply this uh, voltage and its emit light so this is the circuit symbol circuit symbol okay and here you can see this electrical energy converted into light energy electrical energy converted into light energy electrical energy converted into light energy this is the light emitting diode this light emitting diode actually um, generated using gallium arsenide alloy gallium arsenide gallium arsenide alloy or, th or gallium arsenide phosphor this actually used for this type of light emitting diode and the band gap denoted the wavelength of light because you know this band gap eg equals to h nu that is h c by lambda so lambda equals to h c by eg so this band gap actually determine the wavelength of emitting light wavelength of wavelength of emitted light emitted light okay so wavelength of emitted light actually determined by this so uh, you know this value actually uh, 1 to 4 0 and this eg in ev so this will be in nanometer okay if you wants to know about the application of led you know there are various application in your daily life that is the led light uh, and the led tv etc etc that is the optical communication optical communication led light tv etc okay and this is fabricated in 1960 for your information 1960 led fabricated okay so these are the all about leds okay. for your little uh, information why generally in the in the semiconductor material we choose silicon but here we choose gallium arsenide why why gallium arsenide not silicon because gallium arsenide is the direct band gap material direct band gap material and silicon is the indirect band gap material so what happened indirect band gap material then what happened for direct band gap material that is the if you know about the conduction band and valence band in case space so this will be the direct band gap material whereas in silicon this will be indirect band gap material then what happened for direct band gap material transition occur like that in the same only photon eject here but in indirect band gap this has to transition phonon and then photon phonon vibrational and then photon 
okay so this is for gallium arsenide and this is for silicon okay and the band gap of silicon is not matches with the visual range these are the two main causes why we choose gallium arsenide and this alloy uh, composition x x depends the band gap and for that the wavelength also change so there is a variation of light can be using this variation of x okay so this is all about the led now <coughs> comes into the photo diode so led use in the forward bias led is in the forward bias and here the electrical energy converted into light energy and this is the circuit symbol this is the circuit symbol of led next one is the photodiode photodiode is the reverse of led in the photodiode in the photodiode uh, actually <coughs> sorry you know in the pn junction you know in the pn junction when we this is p side this is n side we are reverse bios then this is in reverse voltage and this minority carrier actually flow this current in the reverse current will be like that so this current this saturation current i not is saturation current this saturation current generated due to due to this saturation current due to minority carrier minor rate carrier this saturation current is due to minority carrier okay now if we apply light in this region due to this light generated the minority carrier so by incident light generated generated uh, minority carrier electron pair electron hole pair which increase increase minority carrier minority carrier so if minority carrier increase then this reverse saturation current increase so reverse saturation current also increase current also increase okay so if you want to draw the iv diagram you know this is v and this is i so without light this will be like that with increasing light this will be increased like that okay so this is i0 and this is i0 prime so i0 prime is greater than i0 this is in dark you can say this is in dark and this is in light okay so due to light there is a change in the reverse saturation current so uh, response of light can be detected using this uh, photodiode okay so uh, so 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 effect of light effect of light can be detected using photodiode photodiode okay so the circuit symbol of photodiode the circuit symbol of the photodiode will be like that circuit symbol of photodiode here the light incident on this diode and produce the current okay so here you can say this is the uh, light energy here the light energy here the light energy converted into electrical energy here the light energy converted into the electrical energy electrical electrical energy okay so this is the this is the uh, energy conservation of this uh, photodiode that is the 
light energy converted into the electrical energy okay and this is the circuit symbol okay uh, here also here also you can see uh, that is the gallium arsenide is preferable to the silicon photodiode sorry here also the gallium arsenide is is gallium arsenide is preferable is preferable is preferable to silicon silicon photodiode so using uh, using gallium arsenide is more preferable uh, than the silicon photodiode okay because uh, you know the cause is the this 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 silicon is the indirect band gap indirect band gap that is the minimum of this conduction band and the maximum of the valence band are not in the same k value so band gap and this is the direct band gap okay so here the minimum of conduction band and the maximum of the valence band is the same k value but here this minimum of the uh, conduction band and the maximum of the valence band are not in the same k value so to, uh, for uh, reaching the same k value there is a ejection of the phonon phonon and there is ejection of the photon phonon and photon so this is the all about the photodiode so in the photodiode the uh, light energy converted into the electronic energy and uh, effect of the light can be detected using this photodiode okay now comes into the solar cell this is the special type of photodiode but here the basic difference that is when uh, this is a pn junction pn junction and this is the depletion region light inject here and the majority minority carrier are produced you know the electron comes here so this side is negative and this side is positive so they are produce an electric field here so if you uh, incident this light incident this light this electron will pair generated the holes comes holes comes here and the electron comes here due to <coughs> this electric field due to this electric field holes comes here electron comes here and this accumulation of charge uh, flow this current like that so in the uh, iv diagram you can understand these things very well iv diagram so here also light energy here also light energy converted into the electrical energy light energy converted into electrical energy and this device actually uh, generator and this is the electrical generator this is the this is the generator this actually generator okay power generator you can say this is a power generator why this is a power generator you can easily understand by this you know this is the basic diagram of general diode okay but in case of the uh, photodiode you know this will be like that but in solar cell this becomes like that okay so this is the iv characteristics of a solar cell if you just draw this is the iv characteristic this is for solar cell this is for solar cell and this is for the general diode general diode okay so here you can say in this this portion that portion and that portion number one number two number three from in number one region you can see this negative uh, negative potential and negative current so power power will be positive in the third uh, in the third portion that is the positive voltage positive current so the power will be positive but in that region in that region you can see here that is the voltage is positive but current is negative so power equals to negative power negative means the it can generate the power it cannot take power from the external source it supply power to the external source it supply power so this is supply power to 
external source supply power to external source so it's supply the power to external source okay so this is the uh, solar cell where this so in this region we just draw this in the next slide so this is v and this is minus i so the diagram will be like that this is the characteristics of solar cell this is the iv diagram of solar cell right so at this uh, voltage this is called voc open circuit voltage this is known as the open circuit voltage that's mean that's mean when we uh, apply this depletion region sunlight if you just measure uh, using a voltmeter this is a voltmeter if you measure the voltage at this open circuit okay this is the voc and when this current is zero and this is isc that is called saturation current that is uh, light inserted this is p this is in no problem if you sort it out and uh, uh, and uh, calculate the current using this ammeter this is called the isc isc means short circuit current short circuit current okay now if you multiply this um, uh, i into v you will be get the power the maximum power like here uh, so this is v max i max this is the maximum power so at v max i max power will be maximum power will be maximum so p max is nothing but i m v m okay so efficiency is nothing but the maximum output by input so efficiency of solar cell can be calculated like that p max by p in okay so using this we can get the efficiency of the solar cell and if you want to know the circuit symbol of solar cell this is actually a uh, voltage source so you can denote it by a battery with the voltage source where the light is incident this is the circuit symbol of solar cell circuit symbol of solar cell okay so you understand this photodiode and solar cell both operate in reverse bias but in uh, photodiode this eject in this reverse current and this is a forward part but the current is negative so this is the solar cell okay now next thing is barrector diode you know in the spn junction at this depletion region here this electron comes here and this plus here so this is the electric field this is like a capacitor capacitor now if you now if you apply this uh, reverse bios that is like that so in the reverse bios so in reverse bios what happen in reverse bios the depletion region width will be increase the weight of depletion region depletion region will increase when the depletion region with increase the capacitance will be changed because you know c equals to epsilon a by d the width d is increased since capacitor will be decreased so this use as a 
variable capacitance so you can use this property of the variable capacitor in different uses tuning stage tv tuner etc etc tv tuner in this region you can tune that is you can change right so it's circuit symbol like that circuit symbol if you want to know circuit symbol will be like that here this capacitor effect actually used so uh, like that okay so you can write down this is the circuit symbol so i think clear all about things if there is any doubt you must comment in the comment box. this is all about me and this is my contact detail you can connect me with me with the telegram channel this is my online platform this is my youtube channel details go to the channel you will get different free related video like this one if you learn some different processes share this video to your friends either you see also get money from this video subscribe this channel this if you learn something from this channel uh, subscribe this channel if you need this channel those already subscribe thank you for subscription press the bell icon to get notification of our video so take care we will meet in the next video as soon as possible thank you